Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the second day of the little series we're doing here in the midst of morning manna, talking about lessons I learned while running. And I train a bunch of miles. It's just kind of my lifestyle, my hobby, if you will. And so I have done training plans for marathons, different races, and I've done some of those seemingly very much alone. Some of them listening to my audiobooks or music or whatever. But here's one thing I've learned about training and accomplishing a goal and finishing the race. You can't beat training with a friend. There are so many times where, you know, having a friend, having a training partner, somebody chasing a similar or the exact same goal as you alongside of you, you kind of pick them up when they're struggling a little bit with a workout, they pick you up. There's that accountability of meeting together. It's harder to skip training if you're training with a friend. And as I think about that, you know, I think about our Christian life. We were designed, we've always been designed to do this with each other. You'd think about Galatians chapter six as Paul writes and he tells them, bear one another's burdens. And so my encouragement to you, Mana Church, is as you do this ultra marathon of life, train with a friend, uh, jump in a small group, find a band of brothers, find a circle of sisters. Sometimes you need to be helped along. You need somebody to slow down and walk with you and encourage you and think through, maybe you should do this, maybe you should try that. Uh, let's do, you know, just 100 yards of running together, whatever it takes to help you get through your tough spot. Sometimes you need to be there for somebody else. But the truth is, all of us needs a friend in life. So be a friend, you'll have friends, find a friend in a small group. God bless you, Minute Church. Have a great day.